He looks exhausted. Our little sleeping mermaid. Bastoncino di pesce addormentando. <laughs> <laughs> What time is it? The clock gets screw. It's 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Oh no. Uh, 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 the, re the rehearsal space needs cleaning. We'll need snacks. Oh no. I have to pull costumes. I forgot to post a rehearsal schedule. We got some feedback on the show. Ooh. Somebody said my name. Yes, we're having a meeting and we're going to need some chairs set up. Right. If you're a bit late, dear, you know how mommy feels about punctuality. Sorry, mother. Uh, Sam has quite a to-do list. Uh, we can help with the chairs. Yes, I can do that. It creates no vocal strain at all. Don't be silly. What do you think he's getting paid for? I'm getting paid? Aren't you? I don't believe I am. Well, let's all take a listen from this. Sam does what he does for the sheer love of theater. Would you get me some coffee? Sure. We have gotten some initial feedback off of CPT's website. The good news is, apparently, they love the show. <laughs> so does that mean there's bad news? There seems to be a, a bit of a misconception about the concept of the show. Apparently, um, the viewers thought our little kerfuffles <laughs> were intentional. Um, they actually loved them. Brilliant! They believe we're doing a farce. But we're not. We are not doing a farce. But, but we could. No, we certainly could not. But we, we, we've already done it they, accidentally and the audience loved it. No, they found a few minor mistakes amusing. When the set fell down around George and Denise, I almost peed. The only thing that would have been funnier is if the set had hit Denise in the head on the way down. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> oh, Samuel, wait. The, the boy in the mermaid costume was hilarious. And they should have him put on a bra and make shells and let his furry belly show. <laughs> Brilliant! Furry belly! Punch up a lot! I do have a furry belly! Yes! <laughs> furry <laughs> belly! <laughs> I choked on my tea! Laughter is good for the soul, but not good for the voice. I must steam. Enough! We will continue with our concept, a classy variety show that showcases the talent of CPT's youth in our wildly successful program and educates the community in art with me as the elegant host. Now. We need to discuss next week's guest star. So Sam, isn't there something you need to be doing? I have everything left to do. Okay, after last week's miscommunication, I think it's best if we stick with local talent from here on out. Do we have any suggestions? Yeah, I don't care about this, and I need to warm up before dance, so I'm out. I have the perfect person! Perfecto! Bethany True! Bethany! Of course! She just played Mrs. Potts in CPT's lavish production of Beauty and the Beast. 
She could do a number from the show. Oh, the kids would love it. Of course you would suggest Bethany. <sighs> now, George. Well, I guess if you've settled on using Nate's bestie as the star, I too have a class to teach. Denise, do you know how to take a hit to the face? Hmm. Why would you ask me that? No reason. George, George, why would you ask me that? Uh, what, what are you planning? One must give the people what they ask for, Denise. <laughs> George! About Bethany, perhaps we could entertain other ideas for her performance piece. Why? Bethany True is a serious actor. She is somewhat sensitive to the fact that her role as Mrs. Potts has gained more praise than her more substantial roles. Perhaps she could perform a dramatic monologue. We'll let Sam work out the details with her. Sam! Yeah? Um, would you contact Bethany True and book her as this week's guest star performer? Of course! Get right on then! Because apparently I'm the booker for the show now, too! Okay, so Friday's show was a good beginning. Um, I think it might be helpful for us to go over some dance basics. So we're going to start today with the most basic turn in dance, a shinning turn. I'm going to demonstrate, and then you guys can give it a go. Okay, who'd like to go first? Okay, Lena, show us what you got. Somebody catch her! make sure there's no confusion on the direction of the show for the future. No confusion at all. Good, so we're on the same page. Yes! Good. Oh, could, do you think we'll be able to disable a fire detector during the show? Um, I'm sure that's going to go against our fire code. Mmm, zounds! Hmm. Wait, George, George, why, why, why would you need to know that? No, no, no reason, none at all. D George? We're good, good thank you. George? Oh. Hello, children. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Hello, welcome. Now, today, we will be learning how to walk. Um, may I be excused? I've been walking since I was three months old. You've been walking since you were three months old? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Ah! But did people laugh when you walked? No, they mainly just stood in stunned amazement. Three months old? I didn't start walking till I was two. My mom was so concerned. She took me to a specialist. Eh, but our jobs are to elicit laughter oh, 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 from the audience. So, let me give you an example. Um, observe. I've made it! Hmm. Oh. 
Park. <laughs> the trip. And see, Journey has already mastered the trip. She's not doing it on purpose, man. She is perfect in every way. I love her. So, what if we have very tiny feet? So, I'm coming to get you! Don't run away! I'm on the way! I'm coming! Oh, 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 oh! Let's have very large feet! I'm coming to get your sandwich! Oh, do, 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 take my sandwich! Oh, no! That's comedy. So, whether you, whether you lead from your nose, wait, I smell, I smell the sandwich. Oh, let's say you, you lead from your stomach. Mm, I want that sandwich. Mm, I'm coming to get that sandwich. Each one of those are a character. So, your turn. Steps, Mom. Oh, I only need a minute. Oh, oh, well, uh, maybe, maybe I'm being a worry for it, but I, I, I can't help but think that maybe George has taken uh, the reviews of the show a little, a little too much to heart. Oh, I think you're overthinking it, Mom. You do? Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh yeah, it's obvious he has something planned. Oh, you, okay. what do you think it is? I don't know, but that man's as crazy as a soup fan. Oh dear. Hey, what happened to all the snacks? All that's left are carrots and broccoli. Amazing on the show. Nothing's ever good enough for her mom. Oh, you found time to watch it. What do you think? I was flat. With. The chorus? I, I did practice wrong. Obviously, he's jealous of mine and Bethany's friendship. Hmm. Well, if he were planning anything, you know, unexpected for the show, he would tell you about it, right? <sighs> George can be mercurial, but so called my own lunatic. Hmm. Anyways.
Not hot enough! Seems plenty hot to me. takes his tongue twisters very seriously. But come on! A tutor who toots? Come on! <laughs> Let's try an alternative exercise. A classic. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked, Jonathan? Peter Piper picked pe pickled Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked is there something wrong with your cochlea? No. I don't even know what a cochlea is. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. And Peter Piper hit the plosives. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Enough! Look at me! Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? I'm gonna get in the shower and I'm gonna burn these clothes. Okay guys, we got this. One, two, three. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, own plurito. Now, back to the tutu who toots. <laughs> Reinforcements have arrived. It's not that I don't appreciate the help. I do. It's just we're working with several different levels of technical aptitude. And that can be challenging. I can't get this cursed screw in the flat hole. Uh, oh. So, Sam, uh, I, I know that you wanted the, uh, the, the frame to be yellow and, and like the, the, the door to be red, but um, how, what are your feelings on just having the whole thing orange? Ooh. Hey buddy, you need some help? I can help you with that. I'm not so sure. Do you want me to help you? I'm not using it. Okay, I'll be back later. Okay. 
Philip. Philip. All right, everyone. Thank you for your hard work. And I got it from you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just stay. If, 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 I'm, I'm open. I can, I'm, I've resolved really, the Phillips head issue, sir. I can, I can stay. Really, really. I, I really can. It's okay. You all have done enough! We will begin with the tutor who toots. A tutor who toots. The flute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. Said to the tutor, God bless America! I'm gonna have an aneurysm. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha